Hello boys and girls, it's me again, Trusty Panda, and as you can see, we are back driving our Scania S. At this moment, we have some uh, more money. I also already hired uh, a next driver for our garage. As you can see, we are still running our one garage in Brussels. We are now around 56 uh, uh, percent. Uh, So yeah, we still have a long way to go to make the 300k. We also still have to hire one guy. But for today, we have a nice job ready. I saw we are in Halle in Germany, as you can see here on the map. And our shortest trip today will be this big boy tank. Uh, 55 tons. Uh, the Chief, Chief Tain MK10 to Uppsala in Sweden. It's an 1100 and yeah, almost 1200 kilometers. And it will be an income of 62,000 euros. So let's get going. Starting route to destination. So we are already here at the pickup. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, night time again because we did some uh, offline driving, as you can also check on my Twitter that I post uh, the images of our offline jobs that we are not recording. So now let's uh, Starting route to destination. get going with our bank. As you can see again on the screen, uh, Trucky is running. So uh, we are using Trucky now. I'm also uh, later on will be joining a VTC again where I was already a member of. But... Uh, Because we were gone for a while, we are no longer a member of that VTC. Okay, so here we now go. Starting route Connecting this uh, big boy tank. And so here you can see this uh, very nice big boy tank. Let's see if we have some lightning. Do we need to put on flashing lights? No, there are no flashing lights on the trailer, so I'm not going to drive with them. Calculating route. So we are now gonna see if we Please can make a -turn. get out of here. So there we go. So here you can see in the city lightning a little bit more of our uh, load that we are carrying. You can see there the uh, big boy tank. At the back of it. Look at that uh, nice big tank. So yep. Let's uh, get going to uh, Uppsala, Sweden. It's uh, a one hour drive uh, real time. Turn left. Turn left. So let's see, do we have traffic? Not on that side, not on that side, so let's get going. Uh, again, we are driving our Scania 8x4 truck. As you see in all the previous videos, if we, when we started, we were driving our 4 truck. But now we switched to this uh, Scania truck, and I really like it. It's the mod from uh, Gumrod, or Gumrod, or how do you say it, the site? I bought it there, it's the Nova Custom... Uh, truck comes also with a small flatbed uh, so I can all also make a, a very small truck with a flatbed on the back of it so as you can see it's pretty dark outside again so for now I think we have to do it back from the inside cam because when it's so dark you cannot really see uh, much of the surroundings But of course, uh, it's a nice load that we have, a 55 tons uh, tanker. I'm doing a lot of military loads lately. I saw that some uh, of our shortest routes were always military loads. Okay, let's get on the highway now. So 
So 55 tons, we have 650 kilometers of fuel left in our truck. So I don't know if we go to the outside, as you now can see, you cannot really see much of the surroundings because it's so dark. Keep right, then take the exit on the right. Take the exit on the right. So I'm actually trying to get on cruise control speed, but with that 55 tons uh, tank behind us. Oh, we have to go left. With that 55 tons uh, tank behind us, it's uh, right. Then turn right. heavy. I got a car next to me, I just saw that. There it is. I saw him coming on the ramp. Right. I saw the headlights. So this turn I need to take very slow because last time uh, we blocked our trailer here and now I see now also by the truck moving that we hit the, the guardrail because we have this 8x4 truck that's taking some space. There we go again. Hitting the guardrails. But this, yeah, like I said, this is an 8x4 truck so it takes some space in these uh, small corners. Because it's make my truck longer and longer. So now we are driving towards Berlin, Germany. As you saw that on the sign, it's now, let me check, 11 p.m. in the game. So around 4 uh, a.m. in the game, the light uh, is coming up and then you can see the surroundings again. So here we are now getting or trying to get back on cruise control. I also need to watch my fuel that we don't uh, run low on fuel. So there we go. Now back onto the highway. We are now on cruise control speed so we are activating cruise control now. As you can see on the trucky screen, we still will be driving 58 minutes. So this normally would be like a, a one hour video. So that's what I like about trucky. You can see how long it will take you. So, yep. I don't think that we ever been in Sweden before in our videos. We mostly been in France and Germany think sometimes some uh, Czechist Republic or Poland so this will be the first time that we will be driving uh, re recorded to uh, Sweden so our Truckee is uh, driving nice again as you can see we got some uh, lights in the front that are active as well if we put the big lights on see lots of lights that's going on there But for now, like I told you, we have to stay on this side. So that 62,000 euros that we will be making from this shop will be very good because then we can buy a new truck and our last driver for our uh, garage in Brussels. And then my goal is to uh, make the money that we need to buy a new shop, transport my truck to the new shop and uh, hire another guy in Brussels. So, yep, let's see, we still have 570 kilometers of fuel because there was a gas station here, but yeah, in the 500 kilometers we will find another one, I think, I hope. Because if we uh, fall down without fuel, well, uh, that will not be very nice. So you can also see the load at the back of the screen with the... Uh, Trucky mod that you can see that we are driving from Halle to Uppsala. We are driving to GNT and we have the Chief Tain uh, MK10 on the back of our truck. We have one hour, one day, 16 hours and 5 minutes until we have to deliver this uh, load in game. Keep right, then take the exit on the right. And we have 18 minutes of driving time until we need to sleep. Take the exit on the right. So that's are all the things that you can see with Trucky. You can see your real sleeping time that will be in 18 minutes.
and we also now still have to drive 1128 kilometers keep right then take the exit on the right so yeah as you know sometimes we have these little leg spikes because yeah we are running a 50 right. uh, map combo so let's see what's going on here on the hard shoulder some cars that who break down I think or maybe a small accident so here we have the moon in front of us now as you can see when we go outside there it is the moon let me check this sign we are now like uh, driving towards Hamburg I saw Hamburg on the sign at the bottom so yep this will still be a long drive but I really love uh, going to Sweden also been there uh, a couple of real times now um, and I really love uh, Sweden so yep at this moment there is not much that we can show because uh, everything is dark outside of our uh, truck so for now at the beginning of this uh, video you have to do it with me my voice and the inside of the truck so we are now driving around here So we are coming to another junction now. We have to go right. right. Then turn right. There we have the confirmation from our GPS system. Turn right. You can hear the truck work because that 55 tons load is uh, taking the beat out of us it's giving us a rough time going up hills and all the stuff so we are merging in on this highway now here we have the sign again so we are now driving towards Rof Rostock and Hamburg we are running out of fuel as you can now see on Truckee we got the yellow light going on on our fuel we still have 400 kilometers of driving so I think that we now will be stopping at the first uh, gas stop that we have there it is one in 500 meters because I don't know if we uh have uh, a next one planned so here we will go now we will refuel here at this gas station calculating route go straight So here we go, it's a uh, 2 euro 18 the liter. So this will uh, be costing us a little bit of money. So we can drive 3125 kilometers with a fuel tank. As you now can see, we are paying 1800 euros on fuel and we are now ready to uh, go ahead and uh, deliver this tank calculating route go straight Here we 
we go back onto the highway now. We still have 14 minutes until we need to sleep. Already putting the blinker on to let cars know that we will be coming on because we are driving low speed now. And here we are now back on our cruise control of 80 kilometers an hour. So we are now continuing our uh, road to Halle in uh, Sweden. Still 49 minutes to go, real time. It's now getting uh, around 2 a.m. and as you can see the skies are clearing up a little bit. So we are now still headed to Rostock, 120 kilometers. I actually think that we have to take the ferry there to uh, drive over to uh, or take the boat there to uh, Switzerland. Um, Switzerland to take the boat to Sweden. So we are currently driving around 60 uh, um, liters per 100 kilometers. So I don't know if that's much. I think it's much for a truck. 60 liters. And so we are now driving on German Highway 19. As I s just saw on my map, just going 80 because that's the speed we are allowed, and still driving this uh, tank that you not can see at this moment because it's still dark uh, behind us. The Chief Tain MK10, 55 tons. So we have 12 minutes until we have to. Uh, take or sleep again so yep still uh, a long way to drive we still have 47 minutes of real-time driving until we are done with this job so we still have like one hour to go and we have some is here again on the road so let's move over to the other lane so I think we have to take our ferry in uh, Rostock that we can move on to Sweden because we are still going that way Again, some flashing lights here on the hard shoulder. So we are still driving to Rostock Harbor, as you can see. Lots yeah. of... Uh, Police officers here again, some here on the hard shoulder. So there we now on we are now on highway nineteen as I can see. Again some police here on the hard shoulder. We are not gonna wait until this slow truck is driving up to speed. So let's see, we are past him so we can move over again. So still 907 kilometers to go. Oh, 
and I can see that we are now coming in the harbor you can see the cranes So here we go, Rostock right. North. Then take the, exit on the, right. the last stop of this highway because we cannot go straight. Take the exit on the right. In 50 feet, turn left. And now it will be a left turn. We have flashing turn lights, left. so do we have traffic? No, nope. Keep left, then turn left. I have to stay on the left side. Turn left. No traffic lights this time, but also no traffic again. So we can drive again further to our uh, destination or ferry that we have to take. Cruise control is now active on 50. In 50 feet, turn right. Turn right. And so here we are now with the ferry that we have to take. So we will be coming on Sweden when it's daytime. So then we can see the surroundings. Calculating route. Calculating route. So let's see. Uh, I think we have to go to Trellenburg. Mm. Yep, that's this one. That's the one we have to take. I let's make sure we take the right one. No, it's actually the other one. So we have to take the one through Getzer. Calculating route. Calculating route. And here we have the same problem like last time when we're coming in the ferry. It's putting me against these uh, poles. So here you now can see our uh, big boy tank that we are carrying. Our 55 tons load. This uh, little tanky on the back of our truck. So it is now daytime, so we can drive uh, with the outside cabin. So here, again, you can see our uh, our tank that we are carrying. In 50 feet, turn left. So we now have uh, 38 minutes turn of left. driving time to go. You know, allowed to drive 80 again. So 
So let's keep going. Thirteen minutes until we have to sleep. So we will not be seeing much of the daytime because when we sleep it's nine and a half hours. In 50 feet, turn right. We have to take this right turn here. Turn right. So we will be going on to the highway. So here we are now on the highway. Coming across these uh, bridges here now. This bridge across the uh, our water. So we still have 36 minutes of driving time ahead of our schedule. So still an have a half an hour to go. So here you can see that uh, very nice tank. A little bit above our speed limit. We're driving uh, 90. And we are also only allowed to drive 80. So yeah, we do. I do really like driving in Sweden, as you can see. All the surroundings here are beautiful. And of course we will now be driving any second across that very big bridge connecting Denmark to Sweden. At this moment we are still in Denmark. We are not yet in Sweden at this uh, moment. So we are still uh, in Denmark now. Thirty-four minutes of driving time ahead of our uh, schedule still. Now coming on the another part of the highway now. There you can see Malmo. That's what we are going. We are going to Malmo. Or that's the direction that we have to go. Left. So we have to go left now. Also like the truck in front of us. 
we move over to the other lane. And the truck is actually slowing a little bit down. So here we are now going into the tunnel. I don't know if my lights are on or off. I cannot see it now. Now they are on. So we are now driving on the left lane inside this tunnel. I think it's time to move over again. And here we have the bridge that I was telling you about, the bridge between Denmark and Sweden. A bridge that I saw in, my, in real life a couple of times. Here we are now entering Sweden. crossing this bridge now as you can see with our uh, our tank as you dare see now at the back of our truck so now we are here in Sweden we will be paying toll here at this uh, station So I'm going to follow the yellow line with our truck. There we go, 172 euros of toll. Yeah, we have a load here, a trailer with a hopper car. That's also a load that I did when we were uh, offline driving. It's a Renault truck. So still 30 minutes to go until we are at our destination. Cruise control is back on 80. That Renault truck is uh, catching up with me again. Because I think that hopper car is 22 tons and our tank is 55 tons, so he is faster than us. Gothenburg, that's where we are now heading to, I think. I have to see, because this truck here in front of us is uh, slowing down. And we came really close on uh, tapping his uh, trailer. Nice uh, Mustang driving by there. Let this uh, Audi come between us. He's also driving a little bit slower, this uh, Audi. Go straight. So as you can see, lots of traffic now ahead of us. Need to slow down again because of this Audi. But also, uh, like you can see, lots of uh, traffic. We still have four minutes until we need to sleep. But I think we will uh, stop here now at this uh, gas station and uh, take our sleep here.
So let's see, there is not one truck. Uh, oh yeah, there is a truck there that's uh, stopping here. Oh, on the other side there are also parkings. Did not know that until now. So I'm just gonna drive straight ahead to this last one here. So here we go now. Getting some sleep now. And so now we can go uh, get driving again. Last part of our trip now, 28 minutes to go. 603 kilometers until our destination. we go merging in on the highway now now it's uh, 5 p.m. now so our estimated time is uh, real time 28 minutes to go still go straight we still have uh, 22 hours to go of uh, driving time so you see uphill this truck is now driving very slow we are only driving 50 kilometers an hour because of this 55 tons uh, tank at the back of our uh, truck as you can see so let me check because this traffic is gonna go in front of us The buzzing car, but they were already past us. Traffic plats crop. So there was another place here, I think. To sleep. Keep right. Then take the exit on the right. Or maybe sleep. So we're now gonna leave this uh, highway here. Take the exit on the right. And uh, move towards Stockholm. Cruise control back on 80 now. We are now making our turn now to Stockholm. So there we go. 622 kilometers to go. Oh no, I mean, that's are the kilometers that we are driving, I think, because it's counting upwards, I see. Go straight. 629, 630. That's the kilometers that we are driving. I thought that was. Uh, oh, yeah, there I see. We still have to do 555 kilometers. So I was a little bit uh, wrong there with the kilometers. So. But now I see it before our minutes of real time driving. You can see the kilometers uh, that we still have to drive. So 550 to go. And we already did 639. So now Stockholm, as you there can see, 514 kilometers. So that's the road that we are now headed to. We are now driving towards Stockholm. With this, uh, this tanky again, as you can see, pretty nice load, 55 tons. And also the surroundings of Sweden is just beautiful as you can see. Go straight. Lots of forest. Open fields. gonna overtake uh, this traffic because they are driving a little bit slower we can maybe also take this double uh, trailer but I don't think so because uh, he's picking up the speed again
So, yep, that car was doing the same what I was thinking, overtaking. But he's now gonna overtake the truck. He got the speed for it to overtake the truck. We don't. Coming here again on a nice bridge. There you can see a small river. I can see a building over there. So that's what I mean with uh, Sweden here. You have this beautiful surroundings. So we are now coming a little bit slower and faster to the truck. So let's brake a little bit. Can only drive 70 now. So I see we have to keep right. Keep left. Uh, I mean left, as my GPS just told me. So we will now. Oh, we are driving too fast again. Now, now we can drive 80 again. Is it 80? The game says 80, so. So I now need to check because is there a, a no there are no cars so we are now coming on to a one lane road we have to slow down now because of the traffic in front of us twenty one minutes to go Cruise control back on 80 now. So 445 kilometers to go until we are at our destination to drop off this uh, tank. Here we have some beautiful lake on the right side with the typical Swedish red houses. So we are now in Varnamo or almost in Varnamo, one kilometer it says. So we are still going strong. I think we are gonna be there around 7 p.m. I see. So we still uh, have daylight I think until the end of the video now. Driving with my Scania as Really? Look at this beautiful boy. Here we have some wood factory here on the right side. You can see all the woods lying there. Four hundred kilometers to go. Coming underneath this bridge now. Keep right, then take the exit on the right. We have to go right now. That is towards Stockholm. Like I told, we are take driving the on the right. towards uh, Stockholm now. So we will now be first uh, driving into Young Coupling. Okay, so thank you very much for letting me come on the highway there, mister. I 
I can see some stuff ahead of us going on. So I think there are some roadworks, so we're gonna put a cruise. Yep, there are roadworks. We have to move over a lane. And here you can see a little bit of the city now. Really slow driving this uh, car here in front of us. Speed dropped down to 30 kilometers an hour on the highway. also have to do with that uh, truck I'm actually maybe gonna try and overtake uh, oh no they're already picking up speed again So 328 kilometers to Stockholm, so we are still heading to Stockholm. Oh, we got some Swedish police next to us. <laughs> so we have the sun now going down a little bit. There we go, cruise control back on 80. As you can see, we are a little bit laggy laggy some, sometimes because of uh, all the graphics that has to load in. I see we are coming closer again on the cars in front of us. So make sure we don't uh, smack into them. gonna move over now because we're coming really close to the Jaguar So we will now, in my mirror, normally have a truck and car next to us. I think I'm already past them. So there we go now. Three hundred and eight kilometers to go, still fifteen minutes of real driving time. And we are still driving to our destination, Uppsala, in Sweden. We got 18 hours left until we have to uh, deliver this tank. So it's getting a little bit darker now. I don't really know. I think the sun will be going down. Our first time was uh, 7 p.m. but because we had to sleep now our delivery time is uh, 1 a.m. so we will be driving in the dark in a few minutes again. As you know already can see on the surroundings that uh, 
it's getting a little bit darker now. So here you see a uh, two plane statue as you can see here on the right side those planes very nice I think it has to do something with the war So 12 minutes to go <laughs> And then we are done with our delivery for today. I'm done with this uh, tank. So now you can see it's getting pretty dark outside. We are now around 10 p.m. in the game. So you cannot see any much of the surroundings anymore, so let's get go back uh, inside of our truck for the last 244 kilometers. So we are now here at Linkoplen, if I say it correctly. Linkoplen Link, or Linkoplen. Yeah, sometimes I don't speak the city names correctly because, as you all know, I'm a uh, Dutch. So uh, I normally speak uh, Dutch because I'm living in uh, Belgium and, Net and because I'm living in Belgium. So we have some other planes here at the uh, right side. If we go to the outside again, you can see some other planes here on statues. So we are now 10 minutes away from our destination. We are still having 84,000 euros. Didn't really pay attention when we were sleeping if our uh, workers made money. So 10 minutes to drive, 8 minutes until uh, 18 minutes until we need to sleep so we can just go ahead now don't need to stop for anything anymore also not for fuel we still have plenty of fuel left <laughs> and we are coming closer and closer to our goal to our uh, destination in Uppsala see a lot of flashing lights here on the other side of the highway as you can see let's see if we can see what's going on there it's an accident yep I see oh, a car that uh, burned out so here we are now still driving to uh, Uppsala almost there boys and girls seven eight minutes remaining until we are there now uh, crossing this bridge here this uh, will be a gas station I think if I see the bridge you see some flashing things uh, up ahead of us in uh, in the sky actually if you can see but I think it's some kind of lo lo uh, lamp posts oh yeah it's a gas station that's our, uh, the lights that you can see now little gas station here so 162 kilometers to go now
Some roadworks on the other side of the highway again. And I see a uh, double tr trucker coming next to us now. I can see him in my mirrors. There it is now, it's a Duff, Duff truck. So we are now in Solder Tire, if I say it correctly, and this is where Scania is uh, based. So on the left side, you can see the sign of Scania. It's a very big uh, place there with all of uh, Scania's things. So I, there are lots of Scania trucks there, Scania trailers, Scania factory. So I think that's a Scania man, uh, factory uh, that's also there in real life. I uh, been there uh, on my previous uh, account of Steam. So now six minutes remaining until our destination. Six minutes to go. Oh, we are driving too fast again can only drive 70 now, so slow down. Cruise control on 70 now. With the city lightnings I can show you a little bit of the outside again, because now you can see the surroundings a little bit more of our tank that we are carrying. And some of the surroundings next to the road. So here we are now, Stockholm and Sundsvall in front of us. Coming a little bit closer to the Verhoek uh, trailer here in front of us. So let's uh, check that uh, he is not gonna go on brakes or something. So a small city here on the right side. And we are now back allowed to drive 80. I see on my GPS. Keep left. So we have to keep left uh, towards Sunsfall now. So now. Uh, Four minutes away from our destination, 92 kilometers. Need to slow down again because we are now back on the road where we can drive 70. So for now I'm gonna stay on this lane because I don't know if I have to move over or not. So there we see the signs of Uppsala and there is a third lane, so let's uh, move over. We have a new viewpoint discovered, but that's not on our road, so we will not stop there and take it. We just have to go straight here, going into this uh, tunnel. I see our speed limit is 80 again, so it's going from... 80 to 70, back to 80, back to 70, back to 80, so it's a little bit going up and down here. Keep left. So we are now still driving towards uh, Uppsala. Almost there, three minutes remaining. I think we have to Keep move left. left, yep, left it is. Towards uh, Uppsala, not to Oslo. And 
And here we have Uppsala 58 kilometers ahead, but we have 40 kilometers to go. So I think we will be delivering a little bit outside of the city. Two minutes of driving time. So it will be popping up any second now on the map. I can see an exit uh, coming up. Uppsala S is where we are going now, so that will be Uppsala South. So this will be our exit now. Take the exit on the right. Turn right. So here we now go. And there I can see our uh, destination popping up the map. Our end goal is in sight. At the roundabout take the second exit. Take the exit now. Already Keep moving left. to the then left, left lane. Because that is where we have to go. Now we have to make the stern and then we are in turn left. Uppsala. Taking my turn a little bit too wide there. So yep, here we are now, coming on to Uppsala. Now we just need to see our uh, delivery space. In right. 50 feet, turn right. So it will be a right turn, turn right. here. Then turn right. Turn right. And then here on GNT, we have to uh, deliver. Arrived at destination. So there I see is our delivery sign. So uh, I'm gonna back up the trailer. And I'm gonna make the turn to the other side and then back him up. So let's see that we don't hit the, the cars of the employees here. Okay, so there we go. And now uh, we can back up our uh, truck and uh, our tank. A little bit off our target. So let's move a little bit further forward again. And now, uh, put him a little bit better into his spot now. Yeah, this will do. There we go. So here we are, boys, now in Uppsala. Mm. 
equipment here we have the money coming in as you can see 62,000 euros so 150,000 euros so that's meaning that we can buy a new truck I don't know if we can buy him online I will see if I can buy him online no we don't uh, so we now need to buy so we now we're gonna go to the dealer I'm gonna take the I'm always taking the standard ones I'm not uh, giving them much of uh, options let's see it's taking a very long time to get to the dealership so there we go we just buy this one like it is I did it with all the other ones as well so let's move it to Brussels uh, and then here our last spot yes we want to leave the dealership now we can hire a guy let's see we have one 2.5 score so that's uh, quickly decided And now we still have, uh, let me check, 56,000 euros over. So, yep, this was it for today, boys and girls. I want to say thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time again.